Treasure News with Deep Digger Dan. World War II treasure hunters have found a secret message inside a bullet. It's true. So let's go back to the very start of this story, okay? In 1944, an Allied soldier south of Tuscany in Italy um, scribbled a little note and he tucked it inside the, the shell of a bullet case, okay? He took the bullet out, stuck it inside, and he stuck the bullet inside out, so the point was facing inwards in this bullet. And he left it, and no one's ever found it, until these World War II treasure hunters found it, in about January this year. So these treasure hunters, I'm presuming they were metal detectorists, but I'm not 100% sure on that, found this bullet case, they found the note, they pulled out the bullet, they found a note inside, they unravelled the note, and inside was a piece of paper with like five letter words. But it was all gobbledygook, didn't make any sense to anybody, it was just gobbledygook, five letter words, lots of them. Right, small piece of paper, I'll be showing you pictures, don't worry. Now the date on, on this piece of paper was the 13th of August 1944. A very significant time, a very significant date, because it tells us exactly who was fighting in that region at that time. In 1944, in August, it was mainly Americans fighting the, sold, uh, fighting the Germans in the Tuscany area, lower Tuscany area, in, uh, in Italy. So they found this piece of paper, and it, every word is five letters, but it, none of the letters make any sense. It's not like reading a sentence, it's just gobbledygook. Now, in Morse code, I believe everything was put into five, into fives, okay? So the words were in fives. So it's like a, a Morse code type of thing, but it didn't make any sense in Morse code. But, apparently, secret codes were also put into five letters. This turned out to be a secret message, a secret code. So you're all probably wondering what words were on this note, aren't you? When, when they actually deciphered this code, what did the code say? You all want to know that. It turns out to be very funny, actually. It's quite a funny story. It's not... It's not uh, usual to find a funny story coming out of World War II, but, but what was on this note is quite funny. So, they translated the note. Somebody had an old code book uh, which could translate the code, and they've deciphered it. And this is what the note read. Are you ready for this? They throw grenades, we pull pins and throw back. Notify reinforcements to stand down. They're not needed. Okay, so the story isn't that funny yet, but when you decipher the words and the time and the period and the soldiers involved, it becomes quite funny and very, very interesting. So, let's get on to this. Italian grenades, okay? They were called, this particular type of Italian grenade, which were being thrown, they were called L-type grenades, okay? And they had two pins. Now, the Italians surrendered to the Germans in 1943. And this is 1944. So, the enemy who is throwing these grenades is not the Italians, this is the Germans throwing grenades back at the Allied forces, which in that area at the time were the Americans. The Germans are throwing Italian grenades, pulling the pin and throwing them, yeah? The only problem with that is the Germans did not realise that you have to pull two pins for this grenade to go off. So they were using these Italian hand grenades pulling one pin, throwing it at the Americans. The Americans, who'd done the research better than the Germans, knew that you had to pull two pins. So a grenade was coming over 
into a bunker where the Americans were, picking up the grenade and saying, oh, they've only pulled one grenade, they've only pulled one pin, so we're all right, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll pull the second pin and throw it back. So you can imagine this American soldier sat in a bunker, writing on a piece of paper, I can't remember his exact words, but it was something like, um, they're throwing grenades at us, we're just throwing them back. You can imagine the Germans giving everything they've got, throwing these grenades, trying to attack the Americans, the Allied forces, and this American soldier just sat doodling on a piece of paper, saying, yeah, they're throwing these grenades at us, but they don't know how they work, so we're just pulling the second pin and throwing them back. He's got time to sit down, write a little note, stick it in the end of a bullet, and put the bullet tip back in, and then he probably just sits down and have a, has a cigar or something. It's amazing. This actually happened. So, as far as I'm concerned, this is as big a treasure story as you can get, because we would never have found out about what happened between them Americans and them Germans if it wasn't for this piece of paper and that soldier putting it in that bullet. I do know that a lot of people are asking me to do an update on my last treasure news story, which was the uh, the Nazi train found in Poland full of gold, so the saying. Um, I will be updating that story, and I could do that now, but I'm waiting for more fact to come out. There's a lot of rumours going around. There's some pictures coming around of treasure hunters in the area finding certain things. I don't believe most of what I'm reading. I don't want to just bombard you with rubbish. So I'm waiting for a bit, a few more facts. I, w I will give you a story in the next week, hopefully, uh, as an update to that, but this could drag on for years. But yeah, I haven't forgotten about it and I will update you. If you have any treasure news, please do email me at deepdiggerdan.co.uk Please send me your new stories, links to stories which you've read on the internet because this is what's going to make this little thing happen, this treasure news happen. It all comes from you. I can't remember the name of the guy who sent me this story, but it's amazing. It's amazing. And I thank you very much for sending me it, mate. So, yes, please send me your stories. Um, enjoy your day and I'll see you all very soon. Good night. Treasure News with Deep Digger Dan.